everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. Last time around, we tried to attack Washington, D.C., but we failed as uh, the fort was just too strong to take. There was too many artillery, there was too many mistakes made as well. So we were forced back to Richmond. However, our army is ever-growing here, and as soon as I get some more artillery, we should be able to do it again, or maybe just uh, rethink the strategy and bring more soldiers. With my defeat last time, however, the, the this has emboldened the Union, and they've actually moved across uh, the border and into our territory, and they have burnt the farm at Woodstock. Um, similarly, um, they're moving troops forward into Kentucky, or I guess these guys are not aware, maybe, that the capital uh, has fallen to us and we are currently in control. Given the movement range, um, we're not really able to strike these guys. Uh, or I can't put enough troops, I don't think, to actually defeat these. Which uh, possibly means that they're going to be able to burn quite a few of uh, the things we have here. And then further to the west, this army um, is ready to strike north. It just needs some movement points since they, they don't have any at this point. Um, and we're continuing moving troops uh, north. And I think it's time that we moved out this army and we'll go for Cheyenne. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these guys forward and then we're going to bring in the cannons from either side to join in uh, with this army so we'll have the three armies, three armies, well not really three armies uh, the two cannons joining in and we'll cross the border into Cheyenne and attack that territory with that, how set, uh, with that said however as you can see there is no movements to have any battles or anything like that. Um, I don't know. We could. Tr I guess we could try to get some trade agreement. We do have two nations here that we are able to trade with. Missing string. So they. I don't know what that means. And let's see. Haiti usually comes with. They want me to give up a territory, military, al and give have military alliance. Which I don't get. They're destitute, so they really need the money. Why wouldn't they want to trade with us? Right now, they're only trading with Mexico, so I'm not. I'm not entirely sure why they're sh shooting themselves in the foot like that. The trade would benefit both of us, and certainly little Haiti would benefit from it. With that said, however, let's go ahead and enter. And see what the enemy's up to. Oh, luckily it seems like those units. Oh, they put that navy. And they block my port, god damn it. I should have built ships earlier. Um Confederacy declares war. Right. We've got more troops being recruited. One thing that I need to check just real quick is I wanna make sure that the Yeah, they're still at war with Great Britain. Uh my money would would pro probably take quite a hit, yeah. Uh, trade income has fallen quite a bit. I think we were making 20,000. It, it, my, my expenses for the army has increased. Um, but I think we dropped quite a lot due to uh, the drop in trade here. Uh, yeah. I'm only trading with Mexico for 3,000. So we probably lost at least... At least, if we imagine, um, at least 3,000 for each of these others, I lost about 9,000. So definitely have to throw these guys out, and uh, hopefully my ships will be coming soon. So, luckily for me, I had already recruited some troops, so we got Jasper's Green Skirmishers, the Irish Skirmishers. They'll go ahead and... Uh, take control of the port, make sure that they uh, they don't take this with their ships. Looks like there's a single one. So once my three ships... Oh, I was recruiting one here, wasn't I? But I, I believe I've got two on the way over here. So that'll be nice. Um, 
And then what else do we have? We have Confederate Cavalry and Georgian Volunteers. Seemingly, because they're putting so many troops up here, we're just going to send everything up north now. So I'm going to push all these guys north. We're going to push this cannon over here. The uh, They moved back. They did not uh, time to attack any of our holdings here in um, Kentucky, which is good. So we can keep that under our control. We've got more troops on the way to join in. And I think... It's only 2,000 something something to increase that, so I'm definitely going to do that to make sure that we hold down this place even as we continue further north. Um, let's see, what else do we get? Yes, Jackson. Oh, he moves fast. Or was it because I have been able to put railroads? We put railroads here, so that shouldn't have affected anything. And we built bar barracks all over the place. And then, steamship, United States of America, The this nation has launched a steamship. Right, so, not very nice, the fact that they've launched a steamship. So I guess this is the steamship. We'll see how we'll be able to handle that. Um, oh, there's a lot of different units now. Uh, a lot of extra generals. Um, I don't need no more, more generals. What I need um, is just put troops on the front line. There's a lot of different ones just going through all of these Alabamans and whatnot. Um, I think I'll do. I'll set up the recruiting after the episode. What we'll do is we'll push forward here with Beauregard towards St. Louis. St. Louis looks like they've got, yeah, they've got a lot of troops here, so that's going to be a difficult one to deal with. And I don't think we're going to have to wait one more turn so we actually fully recovered all of the troops here before we try to push again at DC. And I want uh, some more howitzers. We got one howitzer recruiting here. We've got the um, Stonewall Brigade, they have 12 in morale. So that's a lot more than what the other units have, which is around, I mean, 7 for the worst, and then the best ones I have. Uh, 33rd, the Potomac Guards, but the Potomac Guards, they were only about 100 men in that, since it's only one company. Um, hopefully they won't reinforce too much. We got Irish Suave, the 16th New York, New York Volunteer, Collins, Collins Suaves. And a lot of other troops. They've got some veteran troops here from uh, probably from fighting us rather than fighting the British. Hopefully they're sending a lot more troops towards the British. Looks like the British have invaded the New York area as well. And they've burned some farms um, and a uh, weaver's workshop. So the British are definitely helping us out here. And seemingly the United States have not been able to uh, repair any of these uh, farmsteads and stuff that's been burnt. Um, so yeah, with that said, I think we're going to leave just the building and stuff like that for, uh, for in between the episodes. Or maybe we'll see what, what kind of time I have to do these uh, uh, after, the, uh, after the battle. And there we have it. It's pretty good, pretty strong unit, I think. I don't think the Union has put a lot of troops out in Cheyenne. Um, I mean, most of this to build these. I mean, the tax I get from the actual tax income is shit. Uh, probably because it's set really low. But I think that's due to otherwise. The provinces are probably pretty unhappy. I can increase it, but it uh, will increase it just a little bit. We'll have to increase the taxes a little bit to get a little bit more just because we lost the trade. We're definitely going to have to protect our ports better by actually producing some sh better ships to actually stave off the Union's attempt. So 
with, I mean, for a, out of a cost effective analysis, they built one ship and was able to take out 9,000 gold out of my trade. At least, probably around 10,000 maybe. Um, so quite a heavy blow to us there and very cost effective for the Union. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and strike at St. Louis. I would want to strike directly at the town. But we're going to have to go through the Sharps unit that is holding the bridge. So, without further ado, let's have Beauregard strike towards St. Louis. Most likely they're going to be supported by the troops from the town. And uh, what we need to do are the units that we know are not garrison units. Those are the ones that we definitely need to make sure. I don't have any cavalry which is going to be a problem. Um, but those definitely need to be cut to pieces um, compared to the garrison. Because I think the garrison will probably um, uh, reappear once we actually uh, lay siege to St. Louis. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, fight this battle, shall we? And here is the river that we need to cross. Uh, however, we're not going to cross on the bridge. Or are we? Maybe it's actually better to cross on the bridge. The thing is though, if I want to take my cannons over it's probably better not to go over the bridge because it usually crashes. We could have some units though relocated to cross the bridge. Um, I'm gonna have half of the Mississippi volunteers set up to march down there. For some reason you start a really long way away. So I'm thinking that um, as we start marching here, um, as we start marching towards the river crossing, I'll actually cut into the material to the point where uh, we don't have to, uh, you know, tediously just sit and wait until we march up. Because right now there's only one sharp duty unit holding somewhere on the other side. Um, and so I'll jump into when we actually get into some fighting. But we'll. we'll show the first part here so I want to move these two volunteers up to the bridge they've gone ahead and put the sharpshooters right over there and uh, time to move towards the river crossing we'll order the men to cross we'll have the wheat tigers lead and we'll wait a little bit with the general and the uh, howitzers so here we got the uh, Mississippi Volunteers. And next to them is the Louisiana Volunteers. And the Weed Tigers. The officers almost look like they have Union uh, uniforms on. And Beauregard which is a special general so he's modded in like he would have looked like kind of ish um, during actual history and yeah I don't think there's much more to show you here it's gonna take a while for me to actually get to the river and uh, not entirely sure where the enemy reinforcements will turn up from I haven't seen anything yet. Anyone anywhere? Oh wait! American flag. We've got artillery. And we've got uh, Iowa volunteers. Right. And I guess this is St. Louis. Which we're looking on out there. Right, I'm gonna speed it up and uh, we'll jump into when we're actually uh, starting to shoot at people. Right, I think we have uh, jumped through enough. We've actually taken quite a bit of fire from these sharpshooters, which can fire from a surprisingly long range. 
We were taking casualties already. Oh, these are rocks. There's... No, that's a... That's a twig. Um, we've got casualties over here. So here's a guy. And the sharpshooters have been sitting on that hill over there. Technically, they could, from that distance, fire at my general. And my wheat tigers have nowhere close the range of those guys. We're gonna deploy here in the forest since it's gonna soak up a lot of the uh, Union bullets. But I think what I'll do is I'll take the two um, Mississippi infantry actually and move them to the side and we'll just have the Louisiana volunteers with the Wheat Tigers here move forwards and fight the enemy. And we'll see how that goes. Gonna move the general over here. Second howitzers is on this side. Moving up and we'll set them up somewhere over here. Oh shit! Yes, the general has been targeted by the enemy sharpshooters. So they have been shooting at uh, Beauregard and they've killed three of his bodyguard men. So surprisingly high amount of accuracy there being displayed by the um, by the sharpshooters right I really need to get these guys into position and uh, probably move the wheat ti tigers out of the way so the line infantry can fire this unit is clearly it's running straight towards the howitzer which seems like a poor choice that is of course if they actually fail at getting it to the howitzer which at this uh, state doesn't actually look as though they're not gonna be able to make it and they've only lost 20 men Jesus Christ and we're not gonna be able to reload in time are we oh we got oh they they paused just before but uh, oh, they lost quite a few men, but uh, god damn it. Right, I want the other two units to move as soon as these guys. Oh, they. They routed just in front of the cannons to the point where we've got a dead Union guy right there. Jesus Christ, those cannons are lucky as hell. And the Union troops certainly are not. So a good start to the battle. Uh, we're going to get the Wee Tigers out to the side. No, actually not. We're going to have them close to the cannons. I imagine the Union's going to try that some more times, possibly. These two units continuously moving off to the side. And then I want the other howitzer to set up here and spray the enemy with canister. So hopefully we don't have to deal with these guys again. The general has to stay quite a far bit away from the battle so that he doesn't get sniped because clearly the enemy was sniping for my units. We've got another Union troop moving forward so I want to target them. Possibly targeting these guys because uh, they're going uh, quite close to us. Oh, the American Swamps. That's one of the units that I kind of had on my list of units that we need to kill. So right now I'll put the Swamps somewhere behind the cannon. Just so if the Union goes ahead and tries to charge the cannons again, we'll uh, put up a response. I think we'll actually move these guys even closer. And then I have my two units here. It's going to be able to attack the enemy in the back. But it looks like they're actually setting a few units in reserve. So they've got that. They they know kind of-ish what I'm doing here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have both already now. Deploy into line and then move towards the cannons in this unit 
switch to canister and deploy. And hopefully start shelling these guys pretty darn soon. I don't want to move any of these units as of yet, even though I kind of want to get these guys a bit more forward in the forest. Just because I I don't want to lose the chance of uh, putting rounds down on the enemy. You know what, I think we'll get a better result. Just for the fact that uh, artillery in Empire Napoleon always aims for the left flank. So the left flank here will be at such an angle that we'll uh, probably be able to uh, kill off a lot more of them. And now this one has also started firing. And I think this one... I wonder if it's... Um, might be firing for the, uh, the sharpshooters, which are at this point... Moving straight towards us. A few canister shots, I think, will. It's all what it takes to have these guys route. And then these will now turn to come into the flank of the enemy. Thing is, though, I've lost quite a lot on the main line. Put some canister. It's not a great angle, but we're taking some guys out of the unit. And hopefully I'll be able to get rid of their artillery. I would have liked some reserves. The battle it seems to be going my way now though. But at the same time, it's kind of too early to tell. Just because of the morale system, and I have lost quite a few men. Right, l move into line and prepare to sweep over here to attack. At the same time, we're going to attack going in here. Oh, they're starting to turn their guns. This we do not like. We do not like at all. We're going to have to charge. Oh, here comes canister. And it's gonna kill a load of my guys. This unit might very well route. Luckily, we're advancing in such a way that not all units are uh, within the range of fire of this artillery piece. Sound the charge! And get rid of these. Oh, nasty bastards! Why? Oh, I shouldn't have actually called the charge. I just should have just told it to march into them. Instead, they do this strange, weird turnabout and get one massive hit, which takes out loads of my men. Right, you got rid of the skirmishers, but now I want you to get rid of the cannons. Jesus Christ! I lost 60 men there. But we have been able to break them over here. Right, advance. It's a single enemy unit holding their front line now. What I'll do... Ooh, I have lost a lot of men here. What I'll do is I'll reshape the line just so I can get the uh, Reed Tigers in on the side here and get them to open fire. March into this blood cannon, Jesus Christ. At least you ca they came back. So that's good. And the target, they're firing back and forth with this unit, which seems to be unaware that I'm sending a unit into their flank, taking out this cannon. Oh, they are turning the cannons to face me. Did I hit, did I hit me with canister going through the forest? I don't think so. The bloody sharpshooters are back there. And, uh, well, the cannons know where. Oh shit! One piece managed to fire. Okay, so we've captured. We've captured the artillery. Hurry into position and start shooting at this unit. 
Now I don't know what these guys are doing. It seems maybe they're moving towards these two, which are coming up to take control of the hill. Gonna get some nice flank fire from this unit. Right. Go ahead and fire on that unit. Get him in the back. Nicely done. Right. You will move into the forest. And aid this unit. Oh, we're, this one's going to end up in a bad spot. It's going to be targeted by these two. Um, shrapnel towards this one. These three units move further, almost out of the forest. And the Wheat Tigers forward almost out of the forest as well. And I want Canister down towards here. And uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, these guys are coming close. And this shot did not work. And now this one's pulling back, which means we're going to have to pull back this one as well. Um... I don't know what... Oh, this is the artillery trying to come back. This one should be in piece of cake to defeat with two units. Form here. Start shooting at these guys. Okay, now these two are firing back at each other. So move forwards and shoot over there. All the way to the artillery, if you please. Maybe it was a bad idea at this point to move out of the forest. Because the enemy is once again coming at us. A wee tiger is firing. And the infantry. Nice, these guys are now back. Continue, move behind the artillery, and then you will turn to come out here again and help us here. Thinking about pulling these guys back into the forest again. I don't know if they get any um, any of the forest bonus from standing out here. Probably not. This one, you know what, let's run it. They're loose, they're taking casualties. And you will switch to canister fire at this unit. This one is wavering, which is nice. They're gone. And hopefully they'll stay gone. What we'll do is we'll we just wheel this one. So it'll continuously fire as this one retreats. And this one will wheel to be able to face the guys on the hill and this one will oh you've run too far you will stop and hold right there and fire at the enemy that's coming forwards right this one was uh, sent away by a canister towards here the thing is even though I think it kinda looks like I'm gonna win this one how about round shot um, the th I'm questioning whether or not I'm going to have enough troops to be able to assault St. Louis. And that's going to be a problem. Oh, these guys are actually facing down to fire at these. We... Um, I think we made sure that that one is not coming back. So we'll turn towards here. The Union is sandwiched in between our two lines. But I don't know how long this one will hold. Oh, this one's already been... has already bro broken a bit. Right, these guys will have to pull back towards the forest then. 
together with the weed tigers to actually take cover within the forest. They're down to very few men. This unit, I forgot about these. Get into the flank, try to turn this flank here. This fight over here is uh, nothing's really happening. Um, what if I put you in column? Move you towards here. Come on, get me some good shots here. I should have uh, kept it the canister. I can still fire a canister. A few good canisters here. I'm pretty sure they'll rout. Okay, the uh, artillery is unable to hit them where they're at right now. Okay, so these guys actually sent this one away. So we'll just trade places with these two. And have this one move to the flank while this one takes center position. Come on, break this one already. I didn't think the... Um, the fight was going to drag out for this long. At this point, it's almost reached about a half an hour. I need some kind of... Um, some kind of, like... Um, you know what? We're going to have to go bold here. I'm going to send this one. Charge this one. Hopefully that will be enough. Okay, these guys are turning to face the units that's coming forward. So we'll have to go into line. We'll go here then. And we'll put these guys on canister shot. And fire canister into that valley over there. Oh, these guys are routing. It's actually not going that well for me. We'll have the uh, Suave's hold right there. These two move into tight formations. And then prepare to charge this one in the back. It's going to be nasty though when this one open, uh, opens up fire on us. We need to get these guys before they turn around. Wow, really? They just... They just... <laughs> they, wow! Jesus Christ. All my men are now retreating. How did it go like this? I don't know, does the AI get like advantage in aiming better than us? I mean that point right there, that was... They somehow just swiveled around. I mean you would be able to do that in real life but... They just swiveled around and won the fight. They seem to be holding out a lot better than us and like doing everything better than us. God damn it. I basically have it's down to the artillery to try and win the fight, which is uh, a bit odd. And this unit over here, which even though it's in the forest, is actually losing this fight. Ah, the sharpshooters will actually get to the cannons. Okay, so this is this wasn't just due to uh, the enemy. Uh, I mean, my my loss at the fort wasn't just 
due to uh, due to the fact that it was a four. Clearly, it's clearly something more than just that. We clearly have to step it up a notch, a notch. Actually, quite a bit more than just a notch. Oh, now the artillery is bugged as well. So they won't be able to fire. For some for some reason they go into slow mode just before they reach the artillery. Which I mean I like it when it happens to the enemy, but Right. God damn it. Tell this artillery piece to retreat before it gets absolutely overrun. This oh god damn it, this bloody army. Okay, so we definitely have to rethink the strategies. I'm gonna have to need a lot more troops to take on the enemy. And the annoying thing is like, while I, I lose, and now the enemy gets even better, don't they? Because they get loads of chevron for a lot of their units. Which somehow is able to outshoot me. I don't know, I guess they have better rifles or something. I don't know what's going on. So this is the second battle I've lost. And clearly, this is not going to be as easy as one first thought. I mean, the massacre, I mean, it was going pretty well for me. You see massacres here, but I mean, the massacre here, when they just turned, swiveled around and just shot us to pieces. God damn it. God damn it. This is not going well. You will keep retreating until I tell you otherwise. Looks like they're gonna charge down these poor swords. And they're gonna bayonet, so we're gonna lose the eight Confederate Luciana volunteer. We're gonna kill them entirely. So that unit's gonna be completely gone. God damn it. That's one of the few that actually got chevrons possibly. Or it looks like it anyways. I did not expect this to go that bad because it wasn't a fort or anything like that. I thought maybe we will suffer a lot of casualties, but not not this bad. Shit. Right. Um anyways, let's jump to the point where I actually get back on the campaign map, shall we? Right, and here we have the statistics of the battle. I lost 1,100 men out of my 1,800 men army, which means only 700 men remaining. Um, a lot of the enemy troops, 120 or so, were actually friendly fires, uh, which is quite interesting. I did not friendly fire a lot of my men though, comparatively, only 9 men friendly fire on my side. Uh, we got chevrons for uh, one Louisiana unit. One of the Louisiana units were completely bayoneted to death though. We can see that that is gone. And um, yeah, this is not going great for me right now. The howitzer was the one that did the most. A lot of the infantry did very poorly as we can see throughout here. Uh, one Mississippi volunteer only managed to secure 13 hits while suffering 107 casualties. What are they doing? What is going on? And the unit that was lost gained actually three chevrons, but I think that's just because at the end of the battle where there are only a few of them left, so many of them shared so much experience within between themselves, so that's why they got so much experience. Uh, because they only got... Actually, they got m the most kills of all the infantry units. Almost most, most of the kills. Right, so that was not great. Um, we're back on, on our side. They actually take refuge in the farmstead there. And I do have these soldiers to pull up. Uh, so another 
Louisiana Volunteer, another Mississippi Volunteer, and the Arkansas Company D, Napoleon Grays, which I imagine is a, yeah, it's a skirmisher unit. Right, how much can it take to replenish this? 6,000? Jesus Christ. It's almost better just to recruit new troops. Probably go quicker. That's one of the things that I don't like about the system of replenishing troops. It goes quicker, probably, to actually recruit. Um, uh, or it, I guess, I will almost as well as... Um, and it's probably cheaper as well. I don't know. It's annoying. Um, right. So we did have success in Kentucky, uh, but the Kentucky fight, I mean, it was rather touch and go that one as well. Huh. Right, so it's, I thought this was going to be so easy. The enemy has no troops, and I'll just march in and take the territories like that. But clearly it wasn't that. And I was pushed back both of my attack on the capital and at St. Louis. So, uh, my plan to attack Chickamauga, uh, Cheyenne, kind of gets. We'll send cavalry forwards first and scout the area. Jesus Christ. Um, right. We need more troops. We can build another port here, which probably is good. But then the rest of it will be troops. We've already recruited the full amount of troops here. I think this area is, is nice as it is. So I think we'll recruit something over here. Um, which I need some artillery that's like super good. That can blow the enemy absolutely to shit. And I'm thinking... The Union had 30 pounder, uh, what's it called? 30 pounder uh, parrot rifled artillery. Really good accuracy. We need one of those. And uh, we need a parrot gun, and we're gonna get. What are we gonna get? 22nd Alabama. They've got really high morale, so it's a special unit. So the 22nd Alabama. Right, uh, there we have this video, and we have the situation right now. So, uh, kind of by dumb luck, I managed to get Frankfurt, Kentucky so far, but all my other attacks has failed. Maybe I should repair the farm at Woodstock. Um, right. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to rethink a little bit how we're going to plan our attacks and so forth. The thing is, it's going to be worse when they when they have finished all the forts everywhere. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.